Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Matthew 12 chapter. Yes. 12 chapter. We're just gonna pull this one verse out today. We actually read through 37 last Sunday, but mm -hmm. we're going to just pull out this one verse because we got to do a part two. Amen. Amen. <laughs> From last Sunday. Amen. You got into it. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So listen, y'all, let's, let's, let's read. A tree, a tree. is identified a tree. by its fruit. Amen. If a tree is good, its fruit will be good. If a tree is bad, its fruit will be bad. All right. So we're going to talk again today from the subject fruit tree. Fruit tree. Fruit tree part two. Part two. <laughs> Fruit tree part two. All right, Father, we thank you right now for life, health, and strength, God. Thank you, God. And Lord, I thank you that uh, I have been chosen. I thank you, Lord, that I have been chosen to explain, God, to everyone this mysterious plan. That you, I'm talking to my daddy, y'all. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The creator of all things kept secret from the beginning. Yes. And as an ambassador, Lord, I am anointed yes. and appointed. Yes, yes. You are. I have been assigned to the ministry of reconciliation and I walk in it with boldness. Mm -hmm. I declare and decree that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yes. And as your under shepherd, I hear your voice clearly. And as I open and surrender my mouth, the Holy Spirit will speak. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, and your people will be more than hearers, but doers. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 So listen for our guests and those who may be tuning in for the first time on social media. We have been doing an extensive teaching on the book of Matthew. And uh, I don't really remember how long we've been in it, but we've been in it for a minute because we're taking our time. Because we want to talk about and see what our daddy, what 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 Jesus, who of course is our daddy in our earth suit called Jesus, um, is, is saying to us. So that we will know how we're supposed to live here in this kingdom. Amen. Amen. All right. So just a real quick recap. So y'all that were here last week, just kind of be patient. All right. We want to catch everybody up. Okay. So a quick, a real quick recap. Um. Last Sunday, of course, we preached part one of, of this sermon. Um, and after reading this passage of scripture, we explained to you that Jesus is rebuking the leaders of religious law because of an accusation that they made. Mm -hmm. Okay. After he commanded a demon who was making a man blind and mute to leave him. They said Jesus had done this using power from Satan. Mm -hmm. He tells them, of course, how ridiculous that is and, and how unprofitable it would be for Satan because a house divided against itself won't would stand. What? By this point, they had blasphemed the Holy Spirit. And Jesus starts talking about trees. Mm. <laughs> In verse 33, he says, a tree is identified by its fruit. Uh -huh. If a tree is good, its fruit's going to be good. If a tree is bad, then its fruit's going to be bad. Amen. Now, you know they are most definitely in trouble at this point. <laughs> and you know which tree <laughs> they are. Uh -huh. Come on. Because immediately after he identifies the two trees, he turns to them and calls them what? A brood of vipers or a brood of snakes. And just real quick, the word brood in the original language of the Bible meant the offspring. The offspring, or in other words, born or begotten of. Or in our modern day vernacular, they were sons and children of snakes. The snake was a symbol of the devil. Death. And sin. Remember in the Garden of Eden where the devil disguised himself mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a, a serpent, a snake. Mm -hmm. 
When Jesus claims that these Pharisees have been born of serpents, he's saying they are children of the devil. My, my. Mm. Yeah. They disguise themselves as wise, but are like their namesake. Mm. Corrupt and wicked inside. Mm. They deceive the people of God into sin, just like the serpent in the garden deceived Adam well. and Eve. Whew. Jesus was upset, to say the least. He got angry, but he didn't sin. Uh -huh. Amen? Amen. Amen. Then he goes into more detail about good trees and, and bad trees. And, and the fruit on the trees is based upon what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. So we showed you some slides last Sunday and asked you to identify some trees. Mm -hmm. All right? So if you don't mind, we're going to just be redundant. All right? Y'all mind? Okay, we're going to be redundant. All right, and I'm going to show you some trees again real quick. <laughs> All right. So, what did we say that was? This is a little small this Sunday. But what did we say that was? What kind of tree is that? Apple tree. How do you know? By its fruit. Okay, so what's growing on it? Apple. 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 All right. Uh, what kind of tree is this? Banana. How do you know? By its fruit. Yeah. Okay, what's growing on it? Banana. Banana. Okay, all right. What kind of tree is this? Orange. Ah, how do you know? By its fruit. Oh, what's growing on it? Orange. Ah, okay. What kind of tree is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, see, I wish I could make this a little bigger, which I probably could. So I'm going to see if I can real quick so y'all can see it up at the top. One more thing. There we go. Let's see. There you go. Oh, it's going to be distorted, but y'all can see it. Yeah. All right. So, so actually, this is an actual tree. It's actually called a fruit salad tree. Yeah, a fruit salad tree. <laughs> the fruit salad tree looks like a confused tree, though. Mm -hmm. Because it's man made. Teach, bro. Mm -hmm. It's something man came up with. Mm -hmm. All right, I need y'all to talk to me for just a minute. Uh -huh. It's man trying to change how God originally said something should be. Uh -huh. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to quit. I need y'all to stay with me this morning, okay? Uh -huh. okay, okay. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to understand this is coming from God, it ain't coming from me. All right, so God created male and female. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. But man, uh -huh. we got, God created two genders. That's right. Amen. But man came along and we got some more. That's right. Just like this tree. Uh -huh. God designed for certain fruit to grow on a tree. You would know what that tree is by its fruit. Amen. But man came along and made this one. Come on. Came up with this idea. All right? All right? Now man has come along again. All right? Come up with this kind of tree. Man has come along again. Come up with another agenda. And of course, now man has come along, create different areas, different things that God did not originally come on. design. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Don't stone me. No, Don't stone no, me. No. Don't stone me. Get it all out. So, so, what's an area in your life where God said one thing, but you don't come up with something else? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go there. I'm all just. Y'all know what area that is. All right, so let me say this. We're kingdom citizens, right? Let's all do this. We're kingdom citizens, right? So we want to know how to successfully live in this kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's All right. right. So we're going to take what Jesus said about the fruit to help us in just a second. Because there are principles and there are promises. There's information. There are conditions all throughout the Bible to help us as kingdom citizens understand how things work here. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. All right. So if Areas of your life look like this fruit tree. <laughs> Confused. Come on. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm going to say it one more time. If some areas of your life look like this fruit salad tree, confused. 1 Corinthians 14 33 says, God is not the author of confusion. In other words, if you've got confusion going on right now in your life, if, if you've got some confusion written in your story, God's pen didn't write it. Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He didn't write that section of your book. Come on. Look at Adam and Eve. When did confusion show up? Mm -hmm. 
in the garden. Mm. Uh -huh. Who were they talking to? Serpent. So while they were talking to and entertaining, well, operative word, uh -huh. the enemy, uh -huh. instead of resisting him, uh -huh. they entered into a conversation uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Come on. with him. Mm. Anytime you enter into a conversation with the enemy, confusion is going to come. Amen. That's right. I need y'all to hear me. If you converse with him instead of resisting him, yes. as we discussed Wednesday night in Bible, your tree will be and look confused. <laughs> a confused tree is not sure of what it is. That's right. Come on. As you're looking at the fruit, you're not sure what kind of tree it truly is because of all the mixed signals. Amen. Oh my, oh my God. Oh, mixed signals. When you look at a fruit salad tree, because of the variety of fruit on it, you're not sure what the tree originally was. I need y'all to get this today. Because stuff from other places has been grafted in. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me let me see if my slider move. Yes. All right, so let me help you. Scion. A fruit salad tree is made up of grafted scion and rootstock. Can I take y'all to class for just a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scion is a young shoot or twig of a plant that's cut off of another tree and is used for grafting. The rootstock is the lower part of the tree, or we refer to as the trunk. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You got me? Uh -huh. So remember those words, scion and rootstock. Okay. All right? Okay. So this is an example of scion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh. it, it, it's pieces that are taken from another tree, yep. preparing them so they can be grafted into something else. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay? Right. So 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 let's just say this right here was the base of an apple tree. But they went and they got some uh some some scion from an orange tree. Mm -hmm. And they took that orange tree and they grafted that scion into the base. Mm -hmm. and what they're gonna do is they're gonna put tape around this mm -hmm. and what's gonna happen is the base here is gonna nourish that scion. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And that's how they get all these different multiplicity of fruit on one tree. Y'all hear me? That makes sense? Yes. Okay. So, man would argue that it is a fruit salad tree because that's what man has named it. But the rootstock, <laughs> this is the rootstock, y'all. This is the trunk. This is the base. But the rootstock or the trunk of the tree would beg to differ. Come on, man. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. It knows. My God, my God, my God. That's right. My God, my God, y'all. Listen. If the fruit is confusing, check the trunk. Come on, man. All right, man. Woo! If the fruit is confusing, check the trunk. Man. Can I say this, y'all? Uh -huh. Can I say something? Okay, can I say something? Oh, Lord uh -huh. Jesus. Don't write me. Don't, don't message me. <laughs> if the fruit is confusing, check the trunk. Say one more time. You can take a man, put makeup on him, high heels, a wig, and a dress, but check the trunk. Come on, Come on, You can take a woman. Cut all her hair off. Make her look masculine on the outside, but when you check the trunk. Yeah. My God, my God. You gonna get some yeah. My God, my God. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I just want listen, this is true. I'm not beating up on nobody because we love folk. We love folk at the harvest. So you're still welcome. But I gotta preach truth. I gotta preach what my daddy said. I gotta preach the word. But that means, yes, we still love you, but we gotta tell you what his word says. We gotta be truthful. Amen. Amen. Okay? Amen. So listen, listen. We 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 shouting and we praising and we when I said that, but listen, Christians, we confuse people too. Amen. We confuse people too. With our actions and how we act. Yes. 
Oh my god, my god, my god. Uh-huh. Pass it. Can you do me a favor? I need you to I need you to put your, your trunk on. <laughs> now I want you to have to stand right there. Mm. So Pastor is gonna act as the trunk of this tree right here. Alright? So I'm gonna ask him to do a few things for me. We got some arm holes this summer, y'all. We got some arm holes. Last time he couldn't get his arms out. <laughs> Now he got his branches. <laughs> All right. Right. Okay. So, so listen. I'm gonna call out some things, and we're gonna we're gonna have it post them on you. Love. Mm-hmm. Hate. Patience. Impatient. Gentleness. Harsh, goodness, bad, faithfulness, Mm. unfaithful, joy, sadness, peace, worry. Rude, self control, lack of self control. Who does that remind you of? So, 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 see, 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 I thank you because see, we don't ever see that's who we are. But we walk around here with these different things going on inside of us on our tree. And when folk approach us, when folks see us, if it ain't the right day, we might show them one of the negative ones. That's right. mm-hmm. You get in line at the grocery store, you in a hurry, you ain't got time to be waiting, and you got folk in front of you that's taking their time. The cashier might be brand new. Y'all know some stuff may rise up in y'all that ain't what God would be pleased Man, with. Come on. Come on. I'm telling the truth. So this represents us sometimes. Amen. Okay? So when we see that, I mean, the first thing we thought of was somebody else. Mm-hmm. I thought of me. But Minister Whitaker was right on point. He raised his hand. Mm-hmm. You gotta understand and be truthful with yourself Amen. in order for change to take place. Amen. See, when, when we're in the church, we, we church it. Uh-oh. When we're in the church, you and daddy a curse word come out of our mouth. But get outside that door. Yep. Go home. Somebody say something the wrong way, rub you the wrong way. Uh, uh, All kinds of stuff come out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in church, you praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> but when you get outside, who are you? Who are you? Right. When you get outside, how do you act? Got a bumper sticker on your car, say, I'm a kingdom citizen. Mm. Got a bumper sticker on your car saying, I believe in Jesus. I'm a Christian. But somebody cut you off wrong on the highway. I'm going to lay down my cross. <laughs> I ain't never understood that anyway. How you going to lay it down? <laughs> but, but you understand what I'm saying. All right? So the question I have, and I'm going to help you out. We're not going to be long. I'm help you out. Why is this? How is this? If I say I'm a kingdom citizen, all right, I'm, I'm gonna need some 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 volunteers. All right, so Pastor, can you move up that way? All right, Minister Whitaker, come? come on, stand to the side again like you did last Sunday. Nakia, stand to the side again like you did last Sunday. This is for those who didn't see this last Sunday who need clarity today, and some who saw it last Sunday they still don't have clarity. All right, count a corner. All right, so this is the flesh. This is your soul. This is the real you, your spirit. Come on. Your spirit is who you are. Yes. But what we do is we mistakenly think this is who we are. Mm -hmm. That's not you. See, your spirit man was sitting here on assignment. But here in this realm, he can't legally walk around here without a suit. So what God did was he gave the spirit the assignment. I give you dominion. You're an ambassador here. Well, God, I 
I, I'm not going to do it. I don't have nothing to walk around here in, in, in this realm. God said, okay, well, I'm going to make you something to step into. Uh -huh. He made him a suit. Made her a suit. Uh -huh. To step into. Well, what's the purpose of this soul? The purpose of this soul is to carry a message from the spirit to the flesh. To the flesh. Amen. Uh -huh. So if the soul ain't being renewed. Uh oh. Come on. If the soul is not being renewed, it ain't picking up no word, it ain't getting no word in it, it still just got data in it that's just old. Mm -hmm. it ain't working. The spirit will send a message to the flesh to act. But soul not renewed. So mm -mm, we ain't listening. <laughs> we ain't knowing that. Because mm -hmm. I don't understand. So then the flesh starts showing these signs. Worry, harsh, bad, unfaithful, hate, all these different things. Mm -hmm. So the mind which is in this soul, once it starts getting renewed, because what's inside of your soul? Your mind, your will, yeah, man, and your emotions. So, so once this mind starts getting some word in, and I'm, I'm not just talking about on Sunday. Come on. Mm -hmm. Some folks just get word on Sunday, and that's mm -hmm. it, and think that's supposed to carry them the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. No. You got to get the word in you every single day. day. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you get the word in you every single day, whatever areas in your life you're having issues with, your mind is going to be renewed if you're feeding it the right word. Mm -hmm. So when the Spirit speaks the next time, Spirit says, David, pick up your Bible. The word is in the soul. Mm -hmm. So the soul knows this now. That I'm supposed to meditate on the word of God day and night. Mm -hmm. So he turns to the spirit and says, okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. got you. He tells the body, pick up your Bible. The Bible is put in his hands. He picks it up and he reads. That's how this system works. Mm -hmm. But we put too much emphasis on this right here. Mm -hmm. This is not you. Come on. That's just your vehicle yes. <laughs> that you get around here in the true you. Now, when you give your life to Christ, David invite the Holy Spirit. Jesus coming in. Jesus coming in. Okay. Which part of us is reborn? We automatically think this part is reborn. We automatically think this part is reborn. No. Mr. Bessie, come up here for me. And I want you to just grab arms with the kid. Just lock your arms with her. When you give your life to Christ, the part of you that's reborn is the spirit man. Mm -hmm. The spirit man is what's reborn. So the Holy Spirit is in there with your spirit man. If you're born again right now, the Holy Spirit is inside of you <laughs> talking to the real you. Mm -hmm. So the real you knows everything God knows. Yes. Because think about it. Who knows what's in a man's mind other than the spirit? Right. Isn't that what the word says? Yes. So if God's spirit is in you, everything God knows is in you. In you. Come on. Go and shout. Oh, Jesus. I need y'all to get this today. Everything uh, God on. knows. Think about that. Everything God knows is in you. Amen. Talking to the real you. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, whenever you give your life to Christ, this is the only part that's reborn. This part isn't. So, listen if fornication is running around in the mind, if lying is running around in the mind, if all these negative things that's on the front of his shirt is still running around in this mind, then that's what you're going to see. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going to see. So whichever one you feed the most mm -hmm. is what's going to manifest. Yes, yes. yes. So what are you watching on TV? Come on. Come on. What are you listening to every day? Mm -hmm. Who are you allowing to speak into you? Whoa. Yes. What are you tolerating? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Because see, everything you're tolerating, everything you allow somebody to speak into you, everything you're watching, everything you say to yourself, is right here. Uh -huh. Yes, in your mind. And see, the Bible we told y'all last week. Oh my God, I'm getting, the Bible told us last week. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Mm -hmm. And we explained to you why. Because see, during the day, your mind is processing, mm -hmm. just like a computer. Mm -hmm. 
So you, you give it information, it's processing. You get mad with somebody, you cuss them out, you processing. Mm -hmm. You hate somebody, you processing. Mm -hmm. Well, at nighttime, the body is designed so that at nighttime, the mind downloads to the brain. Mm -hmm. Your mind and your brain are two different things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, God. my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Your mind is in the soul. Your brain is in the flesh. Come on. That's right. So at nighttime, when it gets dark, your mind is programmed by God to start downloading. So what happens when you download something on your computer? It's on the hard drive. It's saved. So if you don't take care of your anger issues before the sun go down. Come on now. If you don't work things out before the sun goes down, <laughs> if you don't get some kind of clarity before the sun goes down, that which you are confused about will be downloaded into your brain. Yes. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Yes, Lord, Jesus. Woo. Okay, thank y'all. Thank you so much. So let's look at <laughs> let's look at Galatians five seventeen. I need y'all to highlight some stuff. Galatians 5, 17. Galatians 5, 17. If you're there, say I'm there. If you need me to hold up, say hold up. No hold ups? All right. Hold up. Somebody say hold up. Okay. Yes. All right, y'all. Galatians 5, 17. The reason why you see the confusion on the flesh is because Galatians said the sinful nature. What do we say the sinful nature was? What part? Because you, got a, you got, a, got a flesh man, you got a soul man, and you got a spirit man. So the sinful nature, your flesh man wants to do what? Evil. Which is just the opposite of what the spirit man wants. And the spirit man gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. So with that in your mind right now and understanding that, then the next verse makes sense. It says these two forces are constantly mm -hmm. fighting each other. Why? Because they don't want the same thing. Mm -hmm. They don't want the same thing. So you are not free to carry out your good intentions. So what can fix that problem? The middle man. Uh -huh. yeah. The soul man. The soul man. So if you want to walk in the kingdom, if you want to be successful in the kingdom, you got to work on the soul man. Mm -hmm. My God. Amen. Amen. Again, y'all might need to write this down. Whichever one you feed the most, mm -hmm. whichever one you feed the most is the one who's going to shine the brightest. Uh -huh. bye, bye, bye. All right. So which one do you want to shine? Amen. That's the question. Which one do you want to shine? Then we need to focus on working on that soul in whatever area you got an issue. All right? Mm -hmm. So, since you said you want to work on the spirit man, let me give you some things real quick, then we're going to go on. So, you said, I don't want to look confused, right? Mm -hmm. I don't want to look confused. I, I don't want people to get around me and wonder who I really am. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to get around me and question what's growing on my tree. Mm -hmm. All right? Matthew 12, 34. Stay right there. Jesus, he gives us help. After he talks to them and tells them they're a, 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 a brood of vipers and, and talks to them about a good tree and a bad tree, he says something that helps us right there. You don't even have to go anywhere else. But we are. But Matthew 12, 34, B. He says, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Oh, be careful, y'all. It's not talking about this heart right here. That word heart is derived from a Greek word. What do we what do we, what is it derived from? Huh? This is a word that's called cardia. Cardia is another word in Greek for the mind. So let's read that again. For what the mouth speaks, or for the mouth speaks rather, what the mind is full of. Mm -hmm. mm. For the mouth speaks what the mind mm -hmm. is full of. So whatever your mind is full of, eventually it's going to come out your mouth. That's right. yeah. And when it comes out your mouth, words are seeds. Yes. And those seeds 
create fruit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. So for whatever is in your mind determines what you say. Your mouth says what comes from inside of you. My God. Proverbs 4.23. <laughs> Proverbs 4.23. God tells us right here. Guard your mind. It says heart, but it's talking about cardia again. Guard your mind. Proverbs 4.23. If you're not there yet, I need you to highlight that. I need you to underline some words for me. Guard your heart, but put above that mind. Mm -hmm. Guard your mind. But he doesn't just say guard your mind. What else does he say? Above what? All else. <laughs> when somebody says above all else, that means that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So guard your mind above all else. And he says what after that? For it determines the course of your life. You're not going in the direction that you think you should be or you know God's pleased with? Check out your mind. Check your mind. Check your mind. Mm -hmm. Check your mind. Mm -hmm. we, we went to Charlotte yesterday. We had to have a, a, a navigator. What you call them? GPS. Had to have a GPS. And Pastor D kept saying to me, he said, your GPS is not in a turn right. It's crooked. How do you know where you're going? Because your GPS, it, I was going in this direction, but my GPS screen was taking me that way. He said, how do you know where you're going? I said, I'm listening to it. He said, no, you need to be able to see the direction that this thing is going. I'm, I'm like him. <laughs> you need to. He said, you need to turn that screen around so you will be able to keep up with where you are going. Mm -hmm. So your mind is a GPS. Your mind, if it's not right, it's going to have you in all kinds of directions, mm -hmm. all kinds of places. Okay? So, let's we'll say this and then we get ready to close. In the physical, I'm going to go back to this 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 uh, this, this tree. This, um, this confused tree? This confused tree. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say one more thing. I'm... I'm Okay. In the physical, the region you live in mm -hmm. dictates the type of fruit. <laughs> Whoa. The region you live in uh -huh. dictates the type of fruit that will thrive uh -huh. and bring success to your tree. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Come on, Pastor. Yes. So if you don't graft in Scion, or twigs that are similar. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to hear me today. Mm -hmm. If you don't pair your fruit choices up properly, mm -hmm. stuff won't grow. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stuff will be rotten. Mm -hmm. and, and stuff will start smelling. Mm -hmm. It'll have a stench. Uh -oh. Your tree won't be successful. Mm -hmm. I hear you, Pastor. So let me say it this way. Residing in the wrong region is one of the problems people have when it comes to fruit salad trees growing. Mm -hmm. Because they want to put all kinds of stuff on the tree uh -huh. that don't belong, that don't belong mm -hmm. in that region. Yeah. Oh my God. My God. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, I need to say this. Can y'all can y'all me just one more minute? Just one yes. more minute. Just one more yes. minute. Okay, one more minute. Okay. So so listen, the root stop or the trunk has proven it can thrive in that region. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. come on. Yes, right. But when you start grafting scion twigs in from other regions that don't belong in the region the rootstock lives in, come on now. That's when you have issues. Yes. Certain fruit isn't meant to grow together. That's come right. On. Okay, what you mean, Pastor? Well, let's look at Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua 1, uh -huh. 7 through 8 real quick. And while y'all are pulling that up, let me just say this. As a kingdom citizen, <laughs> we can't just grab stuff in that doesn't belong. Ooh, come on now. We can't just grab stuff in that don't belong and then get an attitude with God because he won't make it grow. You don't say the mouthful. As Christians, we try to bring stuff into the kingdom that's not in the will of God. God ain't told you to do it. God ain't asked you to do it. It don't fit in with anything else that's going on within your life that He's asked you to do. But you get an attitude with God because it won't 
world. Mm, 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 mm. My God. Hallelujah. Joshua 1, 7 through 8. Mm -hmm. He says what? Be strong and very courageous. He says be careful to obey what? All oh, the instructions God. Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them. Mm -hmm. Turn either to the right no. or to the left. Then you will be what? Successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually is what you said. Meditate. Meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Then he says only then. Only then. Will you prosper and succeed in all that you do. Amen. Amen. Hate, jealousy, envy, lying, backbiting, competition, unforgiveness, all those things don't belong on your tree. They don't belong on your tree. Because as a kingdom citizen, we're supposed to have love, joy, peace, goodness, patience, kindness. That's what's supposed to be growing on our tree. But when we start grafting stuff in, we create issues. We create issues. So check your tree. Mm. And if you're confused, check your trunk. Check your trunk. Mm. Yes. Because the trunk will tell you the truth. That's right. Yes. Oh my God. That's all God has for you today. Listen, if you're online today and You've been watching us and you watched last Sunday and this Sunday and you know the tree, the fruit tree message has blessed you in some way. And maybe you haven't given your life to Christ and you're ready for a change. You're ready to see some different fruit on your tree. You're ready to see God kind of fruit. You're ready to see kingdom living kind of fruit. Yes. Yes. Then listen, receive him as your Lord. Invite him into your heart. The Bible says if you confess and believe, you shall. You say, it doesn't say maybe. Shall. Might be. It says, if you confess with your mouth and believe, believe, you shall be saved. So listen, if you have enough information right now and you're ready to invite me, just simply say a simple prayer after me. Father, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in what the word says about him. I believe he came to this earth. He died on the cross, was buried, and rose on the third day. And I invite him in. I invite him into my heart. Now God, use me to your glory. Show me where I need to be church-wise so I can learn, so I can grow. I'm tired of gymnastics in the church where I just get a feel good and then I leave and I'm not changed. I, I want to change. Yeah. I want to see good fruit. Amen. I don't want to keep seeing bad fruit on my tree. Amen. So God, I thank you. For guiding me and showing me to the proper place. Yes. Where I can learn and I can grow and I can be pleasing in your sight with my choices. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Listen, stand to you.